Dara O'D. Dara O'D. Hey, welcome to T2 at Dublin Airport for our road trip 2011. We're looking at our flight of the moment to New York, EI-105. So it is Dublin, New York. Seven hours later, it's then down to Orlando for our base of operations. Orlando, back to Charleston, South Carolina, onto the set of Lifetime's Army Wives. And we're gonna meet the actresses, do a few interviews, then we're back to our base of operations in Orlando before we go transcontinental to LA and onto the set of NCIS Los Angeles. A couple of days in LA, hopefully gonna hook up with a few special guests as well, Back to New York, back to Dublin then. 10 days, our road trip begins right now. Okay, here we are about halfway through our flight to New York City, the first leg of our road trip, and NCIS LA is everywhere, including our Aer Lingus flight. And welcome to Orlando International, the first day of our journey on our USA trip 2011. We're here and we've just picked up our car rental for the week and it is a lovely Ford Mustang. Guess you better slow the Mustang down. It's cloudy, it's overcast, but hey, we don't care. It's 80 degrees in Orlando. So we got the white t-shirt, we got the white legs, and we definitely got the white car. We had a little problem with the car last night, but don't tell the rental company. Hey, it's not Top Gear. Anyway, we have a 380 mile drive ahead of us on the road to Charleston, South Carolina and onto the set of Lifetime's Army Wives. We'll talk to you along the route, give you a few geographical references and that kind of stuff. And let's just hope that we don't get caught by the cops. Music Mix 98 FM. 380 miles north of Orlando and a six and a half hour drive. We could talk to you about the hotel that we stayed in last night, but hey, as the rats were running out, we were walking in the door. Anyway, we're here in Charleston, South Carolina, and we are on the set of TV's Army Wives, where we've come today to interview the cast. Well, as I said, we made it 380 miles north of Orlando. We're here in Charleston, South Carolina, and we've made it onto the set of TV's Army Wives, and I'm joined by one of the stars of the show, Catherine Bell. Thanks for coming to us today. Absolutely, I'm glad you made it. We've been tweeting for a while, we and here you are. We have been tweeting for a long yes. time, all right. Yes. Um, you're shooting at the moment season five. That's right. For somebody who's watching this on 98FM.com right now, can you give us a bit of an idea of what Army Wives is? Oh, well, it's a show about uh, a group of friends, about five friends who are wives, so one of them is the husband of a military member, and uh, really it's about friendships and families and life and love and the ups and downs of, of life that just happens to be set on a military base, so you have the added drama of, of what goes on there, but otherwise I think it, a lot of people can relate because it's just about life, really. There's a lot of tears. Uh, there are a lot of tears. A lot of laughs too, a lot of fun, a lot of joy, friendships, but a lot of tears, especially this year. Okay, as I said, we're on a set here, as you can see in the background. The scene that you're doing today, which obviously we don't want to know anything about, right. but is this just one scene and how long is it going to take? This is just one scene that I'm in today, and this is, you can see that there's clothing, you know, we do these clothing drives, army thing, you know. Most people are amazed how long it takes to actually film what's going to be two minutes of screen time. It's, you know, three, four, five hours of work. Okay. Now, anybody that follows me on Twitter, at DOD98FM, has seen me tweeting you an awful lot of time. Right. You are probably one of the actresses that I've met that tweets so much. <laughs> oh <right>? no. <laughs> um, I should probably tweet less. <laughs> I go through phases. There are times in my life where I don't tweet or Facebook as much. Right now I'm doing it more. I'm not sure why, probably because I'm on set more and there is a little bit of downtime. Okay. And so in between I'll just grab my, my iPhone and just, you know, tweet away. And it's nice, it's fun to have the, the two-way interaction too with the fans. You know, they'll ask a question and I'll answer. I can't answer all of them, I can't reply to everything, but awesome. I try to do it here and there and just Okay, talk to me about your heritage. I know you were born in London. I was, yes. Okay. Uh, but you have a lot of Irish connection to you. Uh, in the I form do. of your children? Oh, Children's yes, yes, names. yes. My, my son's name, yes. My daughter's name's Italian, Gemma, but my son is uh, Ronan. Okay. Yes, yes. And, uh, and I say this as being one of the guys that uh, does follow you on Twitter. Yeah. You haven't gotten the tattoo yet. Not yet, no. This is my daughter's, and that's an ancient Persian. So I've got, I've got uh, an ancient uh, uh, Gaelic font picked out, which is called Ogham, which I'd never heard of, and a fan on Twitter actually sent it to me. And I'm going to put that somewhere on my right arm, but I'm not sure where. Okay. Well, Soon. listen, Catherine, thanks for talking to us today. Absolutely. Nice talking to you. Nice to meet you.